Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a weird one. A very weird one. Um, how weird? Well, it's pretty weird. It's about as weird as they get. Um, this particular item is directed at necromancers, but it has other purposes as well. And, uh, and what exactly would you use this for? Well, that's what we're going to explore today. Um, and this item is the Pus Spitter Siege Crossbow. Now, um, bows do not come in ethereal form, so I have nothing else besides this item here. And we are going to upgrade it later to see um, what it would upgrade to if we uh, if we had it a little bit higher. Uh, but right now, uh, let's take a look at this as it is. And uh, right off the bat, you see that it has 64 to 134 physical damage, which isn't really very high. Um, if we're talking about the physical damage component itself, it's 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 not the greatest. Um, it's going to be high enough that you'll be able to dish out some physical damage, but um, but since it's directed as a necromancer, you're not going to have any skills to boost that physical damage. So I'm not really sure what exactly they were expecting here. We also have a relatively slow attack speed, um, which is pretty bad. Um, even with the 10% IAS on the item, it only goes up to normal attack speed on a Necromancer. Um, it would be a little bit faster on a, uh, a character that has faster attack speed with bows, but Necromancer actually has kind of like a bow penalty. Um, we also have uh, some very interesting abilities here. So we've got the 9% chance to cast level 6 Poison Nova when struck, which I feel like would have been a lot better if they had made it on striking. Um, I feel like the wind struck was a kind of a an oversight there, um, because the whole purpose of this bow seems to revolve around the lower resist and the and the poison effects, and it just seems kind of odd for them not to uh, to make it on striking as opposed to wind struck. Uh, we also have a level one lower resist, which is a four percent chance, and. Uh, Low, it, it, they're just too low level to be useful. So I'm going to go uh, take a look at lower resist and poison nova, and we're going to take a look and see what kind of damage a level six poison nova can do. Um, so a level six poison nova is 127 to 168 damage, so really, really low. And um, it will get synergy bonuses. So if you are an actual poison nova necromancer, you'll get bonuses to this. So to keep that in mind, although I just I just really question why windstruck. Just why Windstruck? If it was a melee weapon, I could see Windstruck, but it's a ranged weapon. You're going to be at ranged all the time. You're not getting hit. Uh, we also have lower resistance, which lower resistance is uh, at level 1, a 20-second um, duration with a reduction of resistances of 31%. So it's not awful. Negative 31% resistances is actually pretty decent. And, um, and unfortunately, with a 4% proc chance it's probably not going to happen very often and uh, and we'll explore that a little bit later um, we also have some other interesting effects on this particular item so we've got the plus two necromancer skills so obviously pointed at a necromancer um, we have the 10 percent increased attack speed which if it didn't have attack speed it might be absolutely terrible but it has at least some so that's nice uh, we've got an enhanced damage, which does vary from 150 to 220%, so it's a rather high variable on the ED. Um, and then we also have a huge bonus to attack rating, which is based on character level. It's going to be 5 per level, up to 495 at level 99. So uh, at the level 36 that this is, um, that would essentially be what... Uh, Five per level, so uh, every 10 levels is 50, so 10, 20, 30, so uh, 20 is 100, 30 is 150. Uh, so we're looking at probably around like um, like 200-ish attack rating. Um, it, it's uh, it's going to be around that number, a little bit less than 200, a little bit more than 200, depending on what level you put this on at. Um, and, uh, and the attack rating is actually going to be nice. That flat attack rating is actually really valuable because any skill that you have is going to multiply it. But here's the thing. As a Necromancer, you have no multiplying skills. So I'm not sure why they decided to specifically put this on a Necromancer. Uh, I feel like this almost would be better on a non-Necromancer. 
Um, it's, you know, when you think about the, um, the lower resist and then the, um, the attack rating bonus and the poison damage and the negative requirements, it almost seems like this could be, um, relatively useful on like a sorceress, just a proc lower resist. If it were a higher percent proc, maybe, but, um, unfortunately it's not. Uh, we also have 150 poison damage over 8 seconds slapped on top, which will be augmented by the lower resistance. So as you're using this and you, you get a little bit of lower resist, it's going to make it a little bit better. Um, I feel like the, the main use of this may be for uh, the massive attack rating bonus for relatively low dexterity characters. With the negative 60% requirements that it has on it, um, that negative 60% requirements it makes it relatively... like no stats to put on. I mean, 28 decks, 32 strength, it's absolutely nothing, right? So let's go play around with this and see if we can get the um, the lower resist to proc, and then we'll also play around with it and see if we can get the... Um... Do I not have any golems? can't believe it's killing anything in hell difficulty. It's actually killing stuff. There's no lower resist procs. Oh, there we go. So there's our lower resist, and, uh, and as you can see, the lower resist is actually helping the damage. Um, I do have enchant on my uh, Lava Gout gauntlets, which is probably a good idea if you're dealing with a, a, a Necromancer. Enchant is going to give you some more attack rating, and it's going to beef up the attack rating that the item is giving you. So now I'm at 3,718. That's not bad. Um, and then the Poison Nova. Let's see if we can get the Poison Nova to proc as well, shall we? So we've got a 9% chance for the Poison Nova. There we go. So that was pretty quick. Get our lower resist proc up. You know, it's not terrible. It's not as terrible as I thought. It's uh, And it does give plus to skills, so there's that. Um, so let's take a look at this um, in its upgraded form, shall we? So we're going to upgrade this oh, to the Hell difficulty Thursday. version, um, because this is just a elite. I believe this is an exceptional. I'm pretty sure this is an exceptional. But uh, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? So you're going to need a Lum Rune, a Paul Rune, and a Perfect Emerald. And we're going to upgrade this to its upper tier. Now this does mean that the level and the stat requirements are going to go up. So keep that in mind. So right now we've got 64 to 134. we got 28 dex, 32 strength, and level 36. And uh, this upgrades to the Gorgon Crossbow. And it goes to 80 to 272, 42 dex, 47 strength, and level 57 requirement. So as you can see, even upgraded, it's still a really low requirement item. You could use this on just about anybody, including a sorceress, just for the lower resistance procs if you wanted. Like if that's if that's your goal, just to get some lower resistance procs, I mean this could certainly um, fit the bill. Um, unfortunately, um, with a relatively low percent chance, you're going to have to fire a couple arrows, and you're also going to have to have the attack rating to get it done. Now it does give you a relatively high amount of attack rating, so do keep that in mind. And lower resist can break resistances. Even though this is a relatively low lower resistance, uh, with 31%, so a 20% 20 20 effectiveness on lower resist, um, so you've got to take 31% and subtract 80% from it, which is, uh, I don't even know what that would be, minus 80%. So you're looking at 6.2 on the break. So if a monster is... 6 resistance, or rather uh, 5 resistance up, so if they're 105, you will be able to break them with this bow. Um, it will also provide a pretty substantial damage bonus to um, fire and lightning damage monsters. Um, so if you've come across a monster that is, um, sorry, fire, lightning, and cold, if you come across a monster that is mostly immune, but not completely immune, so to say that again, um, they need to be almost immune. Um, this lower resistance will actually have a really nice effect on those particular monsters. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Um, what are the use case scenarios for this bow? Well, right off the top of my head, I want to say an enchant sorceress. 
But the problem with an enchant sorceress with this particular bow is that it doesn't have any piercing effects. And um, when it comes to enchant sorceresses using a bow, you generally want some kind of pierce. Um, I feel like this could be used on just about any sorceress who just wants to get the lower resist proc. Although there are other ways to get lower resist procs, like lower resist wands, um, an actual necromancer. Um, I'm not exactly sure all the sources of lower resistance, but I feel like Pus Spitter is probably one of the not greatest. Uh, there's actually a website that I use on a regular basis. Um, it's called Amazon Basin. And uh, the reason why I like to use it is because they actually list all the items that have lower resist charges on it. And um, the only other item, according to this, that has lower resist proc on it is Medusa's Gaze, which I use myself. And unfortunately, Medusa's Gaze is an extremely high strength piece of equipment. I believe it's 196 strength. So, uh, so definitely not an option for most sorceresses, unless you happen to be one of those odd strength sorceress builds. <laughs> uh, so with the exception of lower resist wands, this is, uh, is one of your options. Now the interesting thing about this is it's actually a pretty decent low level lower resist source. Um, at, at the really low level that this item is equipable at, which is level 36, and the absolutely bottom tier stats on this thing, that literally anybody can put this piece of equipment on, and the attack rating that it gives you so that you can actually hit the tar targets, you will probably have a pretty easy time using this lower resist to reduce the resistances of a monster. And because the lower resist, even at level 1, lasts 20 seconds, it's going to last long enough for you to take advantage of. So uh, imagine if you're a sorceress or a um, hurricane druid or a fire druid or a, uh, a fire claw druid. I don't even know. There's a whole bunch of different things that you could put this on. Um, and you just want your lower resist up on the target. Maybe you're fighting Diablo. Maybe you're fighting Bale. Whatever's going on. You're having a little bit of trouble with their resistances. You swap to this. You get the lower resist to proc. You swap back to your main set. And then you just start wailing away. And uh, I could see this being useful in those scenarios. Um, while you're trying to get the lower resist to proc, you're going to proc a couple poison effects. And, um, and if you're a necromancer, I'm not really sure that this is even really a viable option. Um, at level 36, when you can put this on, you can already get your own lower resist curse. Um, if you happen to be a poison nova necromancer, you've already got lower resistance. Um, if you're not a poison nova necromancer... You don't need lower resistance. There's not a lot of things that you need lower resistance for on a Necromancer, with the exception of the Nova skills. Uh, the only other thing that even comes close is the Skeleton Mages, and they're not very good. So I feel like they kind of failed in this, um, giving the lower resist proc and trying to sell it to Necromancers. Um, but in the end, what Puss Pitter is actually good for is non-Necromancers, being able to proc the lower resist on striking. And uh, I feel like that's really what it's about. And you probably, if you really want to use this on you know multiple characters for that lower resist proc, uh, your best bet is to just throw a shale rune in it to get it as fast as humanly possible and, um, and maybe even enchant yourself so you get a little bit more attack rating and then just fire it off a couple times so the lower resist goes off and move on. Um, if you're a high strength character, Medusa's Gaze is probably going to be a better choice for you. Um, I actually have Medusa's Gaze on my Paladin, uh, specifically because I'm a Conviction Paladin, so negative resistances is very, very useful to me. And um, I would not use Puss Pitter on my Paladin. Now, my Sorceress maybe, but not my Paladin. <laughs> I think I spent enough time talking about the uh, Puss Pitter crossbow. Um, it does have its very niche use at lower levels to give you lower resistance curses. At higher levels, I feel like the attack rating is probably going to be an issue, and, uh, and you're going to run into issues actually hitting the target to be able to get the lower resistance to, to, to actually proc. I feel like they would have been better off just doing 4% chance to cast lower resist on attack so that people could just use it as a quick swap to cast lower resist and move on with their day. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video today, and uh, keep watching.